Out Systems Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Out Systems, the leading low code platform for building amazing apps. Out Systems is a platform that lets you build apps fast and easy without having to write a lot of code. You can use Out Systems to create web apps, mobile apps, or reactive web apps that work on any device. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create an account with OutSystems and explore the different tools available on the platform. You will also learn how to download the Service Studio and how to build an app in the Service Studio. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using OutSystems, the first step is to create an account. The sign-up process might seem a bit difficult at first, but don't worry, we have you covered. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Start Free button located next to the Login option. This action will direct you to the registration page where you'll be prompted to provide your email address. After entering your email, click on the OK button to proceed. The next step involves setting up your account details. Input your first and last name, then once again click OK to move forward. You'll also need to specify your organization's name, so enter the organization name and then click OK. Next up, you will need to create a strong password. Once you've created the password, then click on the OK button to finalize the process. After providing all the necessary information, click the Agree and Start Free button to proceed. Following this, you will be redirected to the login page. Here, input the email address you used during the account creation process and select Login. Subsequently, provide the password you set up for your account, and once again, select the Login button. The next step involves confirming your email address. OutSystems will send you a confirmation email to the address you provided. Navigate to your Gmail account, locate the email from OutSystems, and open it. Within the email, there will be an Activate My Account button. Click on it to confirm your email address. After successfully confirming your email, you will be taken to your account dashboard. This dashboard serves as your central hub within the OutSystems platform, allowing you to explore its features and capabilities. Once you access your account dashboard, you'll see the dashboard's interface is simple and easy to navigate. The dashboard is designed to provide a seamless user experience, allowing you to quickly explore its various sections and features. In the main section of the dashboard, known as the Personal Environment, you'll discover a range of tools and resources essential for app development. These include App Templates, the Service Studio, Integration Builder, Lifetime, Service Center, Users, and App Feedback. Additionally, the development how-tos are presented in a card format, offering step-by-step -step tutorials to guide you through the app building process. The Account section grants you access to manage your profile, messages, and settings. It also offers the option to link another account, which can expand your capabilities within the platform. To link another account, simply click on the Link Account option. You'll find a link labeled OutSystems.com, providing direct access to the platform's homepage. This allows you to easily stay informed about the latest updates, news, and offerings from OutSystems beyond your dashboard. For seamless navigation back to your account dashboard, there's a link labeled My Platform. This link serves as a convenient way to return to your personalized hub within the platform. If you're interested in engaging with the OutSystems developer community, the community link leads you to a space where you can connect with fellow developers, share insights, and participate in discussions to enhance your knowledge and skills. When you require assistance, the support link directs you to a dedicated support page. Here, you can seek guidance, troubleshoot issues, and access resources to make the most of your OutSystems experience. Now, let's see how to download Service Studio. To download Service Studio, navigate to the Personal Environment section within your account dashboard. Locate and select this section to proceed. Within the Personal Environment section, you'll see a card denoted as Download and Install Service Studio. Within this card, click on the Download button. Upon clicking the Download button, the Service Studio will start downloading. The necessary files and components will be fetched, and the download will progress. Once the download is complete, proceed to install Service Studio on your computer. This installation step is crucial to ensure that the application is properly integrated into your system. After the successful installation of Service Studio, locate the application on your computer and click to open it. As the application launches, you'll be prompted to log in. Use the same email address and password that you used to access your OutSystems account. 
By logging in with your OutSystems credentials, you establish a seamless connection between your account and Service Studio, enabling a streamlined and cohesive experience. Now armed with the powerful tools of Service Studio, you're poised to unleash your creativity and delve into the process of designing and building remarkable applications within the OutSystems ecosystem. Next, let's see how to build an app in Service Studio. Once you successfully log into Service Studio, you can easily build your own application. To create a new application, click on the New Application option. After this, an on-screen window will appear having two options, from scratch and from an app. Your decision here depends on whether you wish to create your app entirely from the ground up or use a pre-existing template as the foundation. If you want to make an app from scratch, choose From Scratch. If you'd rather use a pre-made design as a starting point, select From an App. In our tutorial, we'll go with the From an App option because we want to use a pre-designed template. Click on From an App and then hit the Next button. Now it's time to pick the template you want to use for building your app. You'll find various templates available for both mobile and web apps. In this tutorial, we'll opt for the Product Catalog template. Select the template and then click the Install button to add this template to your project. The installation process will begin and you will need to wait a bit. Once the template has finished installing, you'll have two choices to make. You can either open App in Browser or Customize App. If you want to tailor the template to your preferences, click on Customize App. This action will take you into the customization area where you can customize the template according to your preferences. Once you're in the customization area, you'll find a variety of options available for your template. If you wish to personalize the template to match your preferences, simply click on the Edit option. This action will allow you to make changes and adjustments according to your liking. Additionally, you have the ability to delete, download, and even open the template in your browser. For instance, let's say you decide to click on the Edit option. This action triggers another on-screen window to appear. Here you can assign your app a name by selecting the existing product catalog title and replacing it with your desired app name. If needed, you can also update the description under the app name. Furthermore, you have the option to choose a color scheme for your app's interface and the background of its icon. To set an icon, simply click on the Upload icon and select the image you want to represent your app. Once all changes are made, don't forget to click the Save button to apply your modifications. Now, if you head over to the Modules section and click on the specific modules of your app, you'll be redirected to another window. In this window, you're able to customize the overall structure of your app. Once you've opened a module, you'll have the freedom to customize its layout and arrangement based on your preferences. Once you've customized the module to your liking and are ready to share your app with others, simply locate the Publish button located at the top of the window. After clicking this button, it will take a while and then your app will officially be published and accessible to users. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Out Systems. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.